Thor, the breaker of brimstone, has crossed the rainbow bridge and entered the secret sanctuary. Let's see if he's worthy of your collection. Hey statue collectors, it's nice to get a piece early for a change. Thor debuted at Comic-Con in July, and here we are at the beginning of March, and he's already here. So that's uh, about seven months, seven months and a couple of weeks, which is quite different from what we're seeing for from Prime 1, for example, where a piece is maybe 18 months or two years or more, or uh, even XM Studios that has a fairly short window between pre-order and release seems longer because they give you hints of a statue sometimes years in advance and so it feels like there's a much longer period of time. Moon Knight, um, for example, uh, I think I saw the first rendering of Moon Knight and placed an order with the connection in Singapore two and a half years before it even went up for PO. Um, so it feels like a longer stretch. So to have this debut in July come out in March is pretty darn cool. Um, I can report that you are going to be happy with this piece. It does not stray that I can tell from the prototype. Um, the quality control seems excellent and I'm very, very pleased. You'll notice that I am not displaying it with the cape at the moment. That is because I want to be able to show you all the detail on the back of the statue, which I think has more to offer than a lot of statues do. Um, in fact, I'm considering permanently displaying it without the cape. But let's take a closer look. Okay, here he is in all his glory. And we'll start uh, with the base, a more complex base than we've seen from a uh, sideshow in a while. It has several pieces. Uh, be careful when you take it out of the box. As you can see, there's lots of opportunity for breakage here. So um, I would not recommend pulling up on the bag like I see a lot of people do when they do unboxing videos. I would try to um, probably grab like here. That's a good solid piece. But down here, these, these could easily break off. So be very careful with that. There's maybe five different pieces of flame that have to be inserted. The main one is the column that Thor slots into this piece here. I had a little difficulty getting that piece in when Susan uh, from Sideshow did their unboxing video. She just plunked it right in there, no problem. I kind of had to use a little bit of force and I think there's still a fraction of an inch that's not quite in there, but it's in there good enough. Uh, there are gonna be some seams between the flames I'm not going to let that bother me, but you know that's just the way it is. But I like the effect. It looks really good. So you can see there, that seems like it should be going down another eighth of an inch or so. And it, I just couldn't even force it anymore and I didn't want to try. But it's in there solid. It's very solid. In fact, I think disassembling would be difficult of that particular piece. And again, Susan had no problem with it. Hers went in just fine. So it might be unique to mine that that's a problem. This piece um, it actually inserts inside. So be very careful with that one. It kind of slots in. Be very careful. But a really nice base. And it's, it, you know, it looks like it's going to take up a ton of space, but I think that the depth of this is only like 12 inches. So uh, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, I'm going to go straight up to the portrait because I know you want to see it and it does not disappoint in my opinion. I think it's really, really nice. I don't, I'm not sure I can imagine how that could be improved. Really great. The hair looks good. Really cool. Now, the skin tone is extremely realistic, very lifelike. 
The vein work is absolutely insane. Thank you, Daniel Bell. How great is that? Even um, like his, uh, his elbow here. I mean, look at that. Very authentic. Love it. I think I said in the intro, he's, he looks large for a quarter scale. I don't mean he looks, he doesn't look too large. He looks the way Thor should look at quarter scale. I think it's just perfect. He does not look too small. There was some talk on uh, one of the message boards, I think, that there was concern that he might look too small. He doesn't. Really nice texturing. And the paint application looks good. I'm not seeing anything sloppy. In fact, look at his hand. This is the, um, you know, this does not show the exclusive. This is what you get if you buy the regular. But look at that. That looks like a hand that has uh, been used to inflict pain. And I, I don't know, I just think the detail is insane. It looks really good. Okay, so um, these metal studs, as you see, that's what holds in the cape. So you can display this without the cape, without any holes being evident. And frankly, I think it looks better without the cape. I am gonna show it to you with the cape. Just show you some more detail. And then let's see the back. Just everything from the boots with the straps. Look at that detail. To the blue pants. Looks fantastic. Love the belt. Again, this is all sculpt except for the cape. Really, really nice. That's like Berserker Thor. The eyes look good. I've become more conscious of that after Wonder Woman, a piece that I love, but mine did have googly eyes. And I just heard from Sideshow, they are gonna send me a new portrait. So I'm glad that got resolved. All right, let's take a look with the cape. Here he is with the cape. The quality of the cape is just fine. It does not feel cheap or look cheap. It does have weathering like he's been in battle. Mostly like on the bottom and here, here especially. It just has kind of a, like a dark, like he's gone through soot or something. It just looks uh, like he's been wearing it for a while. You can see it there too. It's just kind of darker here than it is up there. Be careful uh, when applying this stud here. As you can see, it's really close to his face. You don't want to take his nose off or something. And I didn't, you know, fuss with it very much. Some of you guys are going to make this thing look absolutely glorious, I'm sure. Uh, it does come right out of the box wrinkled. Uh, I've already heard some frustration from some people about that. Even some people thinking, can I iron it or not? I'd be nervous about doing that with the wires inside. But uh, yeah, it's pretty wrinkled. Susan in her unboxing video mentioned that the cape comes in a separate compartment, so look for it. Uh, in my case, the cape was not even within the styrofoam. It was uh, right on top of the styrofoam. So as soon as I opened the box, there was the, uh, there was the cape. So I suspect most people will display it with the cape, but um, 
and maybe I'll mix it up and display it sometimes with the cape and sometimes not. But at the moment, I'm thinking to skip it. Here's the exclusive configuration with Stormbreaker. Uh, when I first saw the photos of this, I thought it looked kind of strange having um, both Milner and Stormbreaker, um, like maybe just too unwieldy to be having both at the same time, but I kind of like it. Um, Stormbreaker is significantly bigger than the hammer, than Milner, but um, it's, it's really well made. It's pretty cool. So I'm thinking at least uh, initially I'm going to display it. Even though I do like uh, how cool that the, the hand looked this from the regular configuration. But yeah, Stormbreaker, what the heck? Looks pretty cool. So that's Thor, Breaker of Brimstone. If you have it on pre-order, you're gonna like it. It's very cool. If you're still uh, thinking about it, I would go for it. Um, it's just a great piece. It has a lot of presence. It's a large quarter scale. And I can't imagine anyone who liked what they saw in San Diego, or if you saw it in any other show, the prototype, or if you liked the pictures you saw in Sideshow site, um, being disappointed. It's, it is exactly what you saw. And uh, I love it. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. I'm kind of running out of room. Um, I have this new Gladiator um, shelving, which I like. $79 and holds as much weight as you can possibly put on it, which is great. No need to worry about shelves bowing or anything like that. I think each shelf can hold a thousand pounds. So there's my commercial for Gladiator shelving. Anyway, if you like this video, um, please subscribe. Please like the video. I have a website, www.detective27.com. I sell some comics on there. I sell a few statues on there. Uh, so take a look at that if you're interested. Otherwise, I will see you on Facebook. I'll see you on the message boards and at a show near you. Have a great day, guys. Take care.